What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Bountiful Blessings Urban Homestead. In this one, we're going to give you an update of our rabbits who all have kindling boxes and or nesting boxes. And we are going to show you what they've all done so far and what we can expect within the next couple days. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to our channel to see other videos on rabbits, homesteading, and chickens. Thank you. All right, guys, we're in the rack and coop or the garage. Here we have our chocolate dough, which we just gave a nesting box to this morning. You can see she looks like she's nice and plump and pregnant. Today is day 28 for her. I did give her nesting box to her a little late because I've been so busy at work lately. Um, but you can see she did start to pull some hair and put it in the nest and start to prepare a little bit. So she does kind of know what she's doing. She's only seven months old. So this is a first time mom. All of this is new to her, but she seems to have the hang of it pretty good. We'll just have to wait and see over the next couple days. Hopefully in the morning we can have a, expect to see a litter of kits here in the nest. Here we have another seven month old doe and we gave her nesting box to her a couple days ago and we have not really seen her do much with this nest at all. She may take to it a little bit. We do see a little bit of uh, bunny berries or bunny turds in the nest there. So she has used it as a litter box a little bit. Um, we're just gonna have to make sure we watch this diligently. She doesn't look um, as pregnant to me as the other rabbit. Now that doesn't say she's not, but she may have missed. So she may not even be pregnant at all. Or she could have her kits in the nest and pull her fur and dig it all and make it all last second. Or she could just completely fail and have her kits somewhere over here on the wire, back here in this corner, up on top. We're just gonna have to pay close attention and make sure that we help her to move her kits, if she has them, into the nest as quick as possible. So that's the second rabbit with a nesting box. Over here we have Luna, our black doe. And she got the nesting box before any of the others uh, about a couple of days ago. Um, now I have seen her hay packing quite a bit lately. She has also taken all of the hay out and put it back in twice. She does seem a little plumper than she usually is and she is sitting in the nest. Um, I think this behavior is to keep the nest warm so that when she is ready to kindle, the nest is warm. She has not pulled any fur yet, but like I said, she has dug it down. Um, she could also just be sitting in the nest as a place of comfort, like a hide box essentially and she may have missed also but we're just gonna have to wait to see if either of these two rabbits do not have kits by day 35 of their pregnancy we will go ahead and rebreed or for this one we may call her out of our program because she as you can see is kind of okay this is the calmest she's ever been but you can hear that she's growling at me but usually she'll jump up and attack and try to scratch and bite. I've gotten bitten a couple times by this rabbit. That could be because she's pregnant and territorial, but if she does not end up being pregnant, then that just means that she's an aggressive rabbit, and we don't want our young children sticking their fingers in any of these cracks and getting bit by an aggressive rabbit. We don't need any of that, and we'll just not carry that trait in any of our rabbits and call that out of our program. We should expect bunnies from her first before anybody else, but um, Coco in the first one, she seems to be a little more prepared than this black doe, so she may kindle first. And it's all a guessing game. They could all have their litters from 28 to 35 days. Here we got some bunnies. I guess they are uh, sitting in the water dish. Need to get them some more water here, so let's do that. Now we have four rabbits in this cage, so they do go through the water quite a bit faster than the other rabbits. So 
So as you can see, we got the mama and all the babies. Looking good, growing good. A little over three weeks old. Probably 24 days old here. Very alert. Get nice, good exercise. Yep, they can jump, guys. They are good at evading predators. This is how they stay alive in the wild. Don't jump in the water, you crazy. Uh -huh. So, here is the little bunny family. And we can pan over. We can see one of our boys. His name is Latte here. He is a chocolate otter. Buck. He's a little skittish. We haven't held him as much as we should be. He doesn't bite. He's not aggressive. He just is a little scared sometimes. It's okay. He does let me hold him and let me pick him up, but he just doesn't like to come to the front of the cage to be petted very often. And here we have our full chocolate buck, which we have bred with our chocolate dough over there, expecting a full litter of chocolate kits. And he sometimes is skittish and sometimes he will come to the front of the cage to get pet. He is very calm and will let me hold him. He does like to be pet, he just will do it on his own terms. Right buddy, come on. Come on buddy. His name is Bogo. And if we pan over, we got the chickens, and it's time to collect the eggs for the day. We still have a broody hen. We don't care if she's broody here at our homestead. She knows how to take care of herself. Although we do collect the eggs from underneath of her every day. We don't really want her to hatch any. Um, we do have a rooster, so the eggs could be fertilized, but we only have one rooster for all of our hens and we have about 24 hens with one rooster so there's a good chance that some of them are fertilized they all could be fertilized because hens do store rooster juice in their system for up to two weeks so that they could fertilize up to two weeks of eggs at once while sitting in the nest and being broody. So we're gonna go get the egg basket and we'll show you how many eggs we get today. All right, we got our egg basket. Let's get in this chicken coop and go get some eggs. All right, we got four in this nest. Oh, none in this nest. Two up top, so that's only six. So that tells me she's probably sitting on a good clutch of eggs. Now we gotta reach under the broody hen, which is not my favorite part of my day. I would normally wear a glove for this, but for you guys, I will go in bare. Ooh. Two, four, seven, nine, a good shake because they can hold them up in their wings and 10 so that's 16 eggs for today not bad not bad for the middle of December one week away from Christmas guys thanks for watching this is bountiful blessing stay tuned subscribe come to watch more videos we put this content out there so that you can be like us or better Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. If you've made it this far, please share, subscribe, like, comment. We appreciate all of the traction we've been getting here on this channel. 
We started only two months ago and we're nearly to 200 subscribers. Keep it going and at 500 subscribers, we will probably do some sort of special video for you guys. Thank you and we do plan to start going live. So stay tuned for that. Maybe we'll get a live rabbit kindling birth process. We don't know. We'll just have to wait and see if we can catch that in the right timing. And stay tuned. Thank you guys. Bountiful blessings out. Bye.